Another important point about speed dribbles is, of course, that when you're pushing the ball out in front of you, especially on the first dribble, naturally you have to look first and see if there's actually space, you know, or if there's defenders right there. So when we're doing full court dribbles, this is, of course, something we need to keep in mind that we cannot just, if I'm standing right here and I'm throwing the ball out, my head needs to turn first. And I want to exemplify this by giving you another extension of the normal full court layups drill. And this was a drill that I used to do because I watched Grant Hill, the Hall of Fame basketball player Grant Hill, do this a lot. And I was very fascinated by how he was actually running with the ball and how much speed he had in his speed dribbles. So to just show you what I mean, if we imagine that the drill I'm doing here is supposed to mimic getting a defensive rebound. So the ball is up here somewhere. And when I catch it and come down, I wanna come down with the ball protected. And then my first reaction is going to be to turn my head and look down court because I need to be able to see if I'm free to start my speed dribble. So it's gonna look a little like this. And then I would go, right? Now the drill is gonna look like this. Instead of just going all the way down right away, we're gonna play a little bit with the fact that you're gonna make two turns. You're gonna make a turn once you've been speed dribbling down the court, you're gonna make the first turn at mid court. And you're gonna do it with a behind the back dribble, basically throwing the ball out in front of you with that dribble. And then when you come to the baseline, you're gonna do the same thing. And then you're gonna go all the way and finish your layups. Now, I really like this drill because the, the changes that you're making are fairly fluent and they're still pushing the ball, right? So this is something you can add if you want to advance the drill, the normal full court layups drill, then you can try and play around with having two directional changes with a behind the back dribble.